Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins, and this month we are unboxing a Fall Fantastic Paradise Fiber of the Month okay. box. It's going to be fantastic. Stay tuned. So I unboxed my Paradise Fiber of the Month box on the table this time sort of similar to how I did my Atomic Fiber Company unboxing because I had the coolest warning label which you will see this is not baby bean proof so it's gonna be a little out of order this time but first of all I want to read you the spoiler card I'm pumped and kind of out of breath because I just witnessed this box and it was the most magical. I mean, I thought last month with the unicorns was the best month and I thought before that with the Miyazaki film reference was the coolest. This month is the coolest, people. Like, let's... I gotta take a breath, find my zen spot here. Plus, Bobby, the curator of the box, wrote me a letter and that's like getting a letter from, like, Fiber Superman. Finding my Zen place now. Okay, so the cute little graphic here is the cat. Oh, I found my Zen place and Bean is leaving me. Oh, is that, that classic? So let's start off by saying uh, there is a <laughs> gluten free butter mint in there. I think last time I mentioned that the candy was gluten. So uh, for all you celiacs and gluten-free people, we've got you covered. So that's really cool. Um, there are a couple things that I learned this month about the club that I didn't really realize before. Is you have a coupon code for a lot of different things like fiber and sometimes tools. And in this part, the wood shop stuff. So. Keep an eye out for that and use it if you order because I guess I hadn't internalized that. Also, I learned that they have a blog where they talk about the, the box. So check that out. And they're gearing up for Spinzilla and they have a team. So if you are a Paradise Flavor of the Month person and participating in Spinzilla, check them out as a potential team opportunity because uh, I bet they're going to be fantastic because these people are seriously the most detail-oriented, personable, customer service gurus ever. I mean, they wrote a warning label for my human based on my last video and a thank you card and, and gluten-free. It's just so amazing. So great, I lost my glasses. So. All that to say, I'm going to jump into the unboxing, and I think we will meet you on the other side. Okay, so first of all, I want to point out the caution, not being truth, little label. Isn't that awesome? Also, I wanted to note that the full version of this with the actual voice is on my Patreon. Things got crazy. The voice came home. Um, so it was not even remotely YouTube ready, which is why I'm filming a voiceover. But for your comic enjoyment, I put that up on Patreon. <laughs> so we have a note from Bobby, who is the curator of the box. And that is the first taste of the autumnal sticker awesome. Uh, I will read the letter and the insert and all these things in the main video. Um, I also really love how they matched the candy to the glitter and the stickers. The detail-oriented nature of this box is just mind-blowing. Every month it just gets better and better. <laughs> so I open this up really carefully and as soon as I open the tissue paper this like pumpkin spice smell just wafted towards my body and there are these fake uh, autumn leaves, maple leaves in there, and gold sparkles, and it's just awesome. Like, so cool. Um, initially, I thought maybe these were bats in there, but they're actually four ounces each of custom microblends, and boy, are they fantastic. 
fantastic. I love how they're in their own matching organza bag. The whole thing, it's got a craft paper, it looks hand stamped, the label, everything is so on point with the theme. It just made me freak out. No. Okay, at the bottom we have a picture of an autumn forest flirt taped to the bottom of the box, which I thought was a really cool little, like it's totally cheesy, but in the best way possible. I loved that. So upon opening these little bags, and I will insert a picture here so you can get a better look at them and read the label yourself, because I don't have it right in front of me, so I can't remember the exact amounts, but there is camel and silk and merino and apaca and it's just the most incredibly soft thing ever now generally i don't like alpaca but this is really beautiful i think in a blend it's not going to be quite so fly away obnoxious you can see how halo -y it is but it's in a really nice beautiful way i feel like it's more controllable also the colorway reminds me of cheesy teenage supernatural romance novels in the best way possible and i can't decide how to spin it to capture that essence so if you have any ideas on how to spin this leave them in the comment section down below i am collecting ideas now the next one i already know what i want to do with it um it has sea cell in it and just an ungodly amount of sparkle the amount of sparkle literally made me squeal you can hear my reaction like i said in the patreon version but needless to say i was overwhelmed with the amount of awesome that was in this micro blend it's hard to see on camera so i've inserted a photograph so you can see the full nuanced version of this blend but Oh my goodness, do you see the amount of sparkle in that thing? It is just, I've never seen something so sparkly in my life. Uh, of course, I had to do a twirl about it. In the picture, you can see better what is happening here. And I have a Halloween spin in mind. I already ordered other paper for it, and this is going to match it perfectly. And I can't wait to share that with you for the Halloween episode of Spin Weekly. Okay, so now that we have unboxed our fiber, um, now I'm a little bit more zen, but you're going to be pumped. Did you see that stuff? The shine and the hand was amazing. Those were incredible luxury fibers. Incredible luxury fibers. Also, I thought the uh, straightforward approach and emphasis on drafting was really cool. And let me just say, my uh, Halloween spin plan has been usurped. Like, there's, there's a different, there's a different plan in the house. And it's Harry Potter themed! It was already going to be Harry Potter themed anyway. But now it's really Harry Potter themed. First of all, I would like to thank Bobby, who makes this all possible. And, you know... Clearly, we should all thank Bobby for all of these because he's the mastermind behind it. Second of all, I would like to thank all of you who signed up through my code. You guys uh, actually make it so I get these boxes paid for each month, which is a huge, awesome thing. I thank you so much. And if you would like to join those ranks of people who sign up through my link, I have that code down below. And if you don't want to sign up through my link, because you don't think I should have thank you monies. That's cool too. You do you, bro. That link is also down below. Next, I would like to thank my Patreon people because you guys are always the heartbeat of the show. But in wrap up, if you guys have any suggestions on how to spin this fantasticness, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below and hit the like button. Also, I have a public service announcement. My book, Roving, is now out in physical form. You can purchase that through the links I've left down below on pre-order if you're watching this as it's filmed in September. If you're watching this after September, it's just available in my store, both digital and physical. And if you want to catch more of these shenanigans, hit subscribe. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say... Bye-bye.